of sporadic video blogging here and there for me. Things have been a little crazy, both personally and professionally. Um, but anyway, I'm about to go out for a run, so that's kind of why I'm dressed like this. But um, two things. I want to first let you know that Rosa Mexicana is officially certified, and I'm going to put up a really awesome video in the kitchen and showing you the changes they've made, an interview with their, um, their chef and everything coming this Friday. So get excited about that. Um, but the other thing I wanted to share with you guys today is something a little disconcerting about California Pizza Kitchen. I blogged a couple months ago that they were introducing a new gluten-free crust to their menu with some gluten-free menu options. Um, and then I came across this. Elise Ratner sent this to me. Um, and it's written by Jennifer Frank, and I believe it's from Boston, but I'm going to actually post the link for you guys. I'm going to read a little bit about it to you right now. Um, but basically what happened was this woman, um, Jennifer Frank, has two daughters with celiac disease. Um, and she wanted to take her daughters to CPK for pizza, and the staff informed her that while they used a foil-lined sheet pan and a separate cutter, they used the same sauces, including ladles, cheese, veggies, and other toppings that they used for their wheat pizza, pizzas. When I told them by doing this they were cross-contaminating the pizzas, they pointed out their disclaimer about incidental um, cross-contamination. So basically she goes on to explain why they need to do separate um, utensils, separate uh, dedicated spaces, etc., etc. Um, so she called um, corporate and um, so to customer service, never called them back. Um, and so eventually said she tweeted what happened and immediately after the tweet, the PR person called her um, and the director of culinary development uh, said he'd call on Monday. And when he called, his name is Paul Pabitz, Pab Pablitsky, I'm not quite sure, sorry guys. And after a long conversation, he said he understood um, what I wanted and that it seemed reasonable and he would talk to his superiors. He called back two hours later saying they would not change their practices. During the course of our conversations, he also told me that he guessed that CPK's gluten-free pizza is not meant for people with celiac disease, but just for people who choose not to eat gluten. Um, and she wrote, that's totally crazy and a slap in the face for people who have celiac disease. When it was clear that CPK was not going to change their practices, I asked Paul who made the final decision. He said it went all the way up to the CEO. Um, she says, this is disturbing for me on so many levels. I think the celiac disease community needs to be aware of what's going on at CPK. More disturbing is the realization that cross-contamination may be occurring at other restaurants that are unwilling to make a commitment to serve best practices for preparing truly gluten-free food. So um, I know that's a little disheartening news and information for a Monday morning, but there's some positive about this. Now we know um, if you have celiac or severe gluten intolerance, don't eat at CPK and spread the news. Don't like, while they're trying to do this and, and offer a gluten-free pizza crust, they're not doing it correctly. And I can't, I can't afford to get sick there. And I know you can't, you don't want to take your children there and you don't want to take your family and friends there. So don't eat there because they're not doing a good job. But the positive is, you know, with Rosa being complete, it is absolutely amazing to go into restaurants and show them what cross-contamination is, how to restructure their kitchen, how to show them that it's really, while it is a commitment to being gluten-free in the kitchen, once they do it, they can it works into their cycle and it works into their everyday, you know, line functionings and then people don't get sick and everyone knows. So, you know, there is hope. And while Celibo is so small right now, we're growing rapidly and we're working hard to reach a number of restaurants. So if you are a restaurant owner and you, you know, are looking to not be CPK right now, Send me an email, you know, email me through the website. And if you, if anyone out there knows of a restaurant that, you know, could use this and wants to put me in touch with them, I would so, so appreciate it. So anyway, please tread lightly at CPK. Um, now that we know the truth that they are um, cross-contaminating and apparently their pizzas aren't for people with celiac or, again, gluten intolerance, which they don't even really understand at this point. Um, and Silibo is working hard to make this change. So I'm going to link you back to this article. Please share this news that... So the people, your friends and family don't get sick there. Um, and that's it. I know it's not the best news for Monday morning, but it's good news for Sealy Bow and it's it's good news for you ultimately. So um, I hope everyone's doing well out there. I gotta get to my run. Um, and as always, it's from have not to having gluten-free dining. Thanks so much for watching.